ini ada serial terbaru di salah satu saluran televisi berbayar yang hadir pada 20 Maret berjudul Three Body Problem. Nah film fiksi ilmiah penuh misteri ini berlatar belakang revolusi kebudayaan Tiongkok. Apa saja sisi menarik dari serial Three Body Problem? Berikut informasinya bersama Jonas Kompas TV, Asri Gunawan. Uh, how are you? Oh, great. Good. How are you? Let Glad to hear that. I am very excited and honored to be here with you guys. So, congratulations for Three Body Problem. Rosalind, yeah. what do you love and enjoy the most playing as Yeo Wenji? Oh, what did I love the most about playing her? I, I love that she, you're never sure where she stands. You're never sure. She's so hard to pin down. And mm -hmm. that was very uh, that challenging and enjoyable. She she doesn't show all her cards, and mm -hmm. that's um, a challenge for me because I really show all my cards more than people want to see. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I, I like I like Yeo and Jay too. So um, Zin, yes, uh, is there any interesting um, moment during the casting process where two of you met and act together? Never. No. But I admire her before she knew me. Oh, and I admired her before I met her oh because I saw her footage before um, uh, even I started to film. So when I first met her, I think I attacked you practically. I you feel like me. I know. I, yeah. You're I like, you. sorry, Zina, I have to do this. <laughs> Because I was so, so, I mean, you saw, right? She was so amazing mm -hmm. in it. I was just, uh, where did they find her? Oh my goodness. It was just breathtaking. You just like made your soulmate, right? Yeah, soulmates? Soul no, we're so different. We're so different. Oh, As yeah. real people, <laughs> we're very different. <laughs> But we're, we're genetically oh. similar. There you go. Oh. Perfect. Thanks. Perfect. Okay. Love, love play. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, so guys, how do you guys build a chemistry between both of you playing the same character but with a different age and a different life stage? Maybe uh, you could answer Zin and Rosalind. I think it's it's the credit has to go to Dan, David, and Alex because we didn't we didn't talk about the character much. Mm. We talked to each mm. other a lot, but we didn't talk about yeah. <laughs> uh, well, the she, she had already yeah. filmed hers, so mm. really there wasn't much, uh, you yeah. know, we just, it was partly that we're genetically similar, that helped. I mean, look at our, yeah. you know. Our, I was given one yeah. sentence by Ross. She throwed at me and she just set off and being amazing. She said, Zine, I'll do your legacy. Mm. Yeah, so I yeah. just I did oh. not want to let down the performance that she gave. I wanted to continue it. And you know, I also yeah. got to observe her and you know, her um, yeah. her movements, how she responded and and Zine and Ye are both very um intellectually adept. Um their mm. their brains work very quickly. And so mm -hmm. that was really fun to adapt into a person who is older. I mean, like they would put the gray on, they would put the, you know, like do the wrinkles, the, all that stuff. And in that process, in that 90 minute process, that also mm -hmm. helps like the costume and all that. But even though the exterior looked like that, After 90 minutes, mm -hmm. the interior, I still kept the picture of uh, Zine, Zine's yeah, in my head. Just like old people still feel like they're young, don't they? So mm -hmm. I, I felt like in my head as yeah. the older yeah, I had to maintain Zine's yet yeah as mm -hmm. well. Okay, cool. So, um, the series is a lot of impact. So, how did you guys feel after you see the final result with the whole effects and CGI, maybe? Unbelievably good. Shocking. Okay. It was and shocking. I write to Dan and David and Alex immediately after I finished the show. I said, where is my season two? Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> I need my season two. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll be waiting for the next season. Yes. yes. I've watched the whole episode. It was so cool. It was right. so. Oh my god. I'm flattered to see both of you. I adore you guys so much. Thank you okay. so much. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Thank, Thank you. you so much. I hope to see you guys again yes. on the next flick. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Hi, Hi. I'm Ajit from Indonesia. How are you guys? Pretty good, thank you. Good, thank you. How are you? Glad to hear that. I'm very excited and honored, guys. So, congratulations for a three body problem. So, I think the chemistry between both of you is very close and care for each other. So, John, what is what does Jack and Will have in common, actually? I think I, I think it's a it's a it's a friendship that's more based on their differences than what they have in common. It feels a bit like mm -hmm. between them they compensate for each other's shortcomings, if you like. Mm. It's, it's almost as if mm. if you had if you had one person that had Will's sensitivity and Will's heart mm -hmm. and Will's sense of love and Will's sense of of, of, of right and wrong combined with Jack's confidence and self-assuredness and, and, and ease with himself and high self-esteem. You'd have somebody that was, that, that was really the, probably the greatest person that's ever lived. But the fact is that, <laughs> that, that, that between them, they have what each other needs in terms of what they're lacking themselves. And I think a lot of friendships are, are based around that. It's not always about what you have in common. It's about, it's about what you make up for in each yeah. other. You know what I mean? Jack and Will complete each other, right? Exactly that, yeah. 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 So, Alex, tell me more about your character. Uh, well, Will um, is, yeah, he's, he's a very beautiful character. He's one of the most beautiful characters I've, I've ever gotten to play. I was, I was just very moved um, when I read the script. I was very moved by how he was written by David, Alex and Dan. Um, and very excited about the challenge of, uh, you know, trying to capture his psychological state, you know, that the state of, uh, of someone who um, is going through the greatest sort of loss or the, most, the scariest thing any of us as humans, you know, we all have to go through eventually. Um, and sort of trying to work out um, a way into that that, f that felt like um, honoured it and um, and was authentic. Um, was very. It was quite daunting, but it was. Uh, it was a great challenge, and I. I don't know. I describe him as a as a quiet hero. I think there's uh, there are a lot of um, loud heroes uh, in in storytelling, and I was just moved by how sort of quiet and his his um, his action. You know, just the way he goes about um, being a hero. The the humility. I think he's like so incredibly British in a lot of ways. Actually, <laughs> um, I just yeah, I, he moved me. I thought he was really beautiful, and I kind of admired him um, in a way as well. Uh, I think he's a, probably a better person than me, and and it was uh, it was really fulfilling to to uh, to work out how to try and and embody that. Okay, okay, so uh, John. Jack is very funny and outspoken and also he's a little bit rude, right? Yeah. <laughs> the character, right? So, uh, I want to know, during the filming, is there any unforgettable moments or a funny moments? Tell us more about that. There were a lot of funny moments, weren't there? Yeah. There tended to, there tended to be moments uh, Especially when it was myself and, and Alex in scenes together and Jovan Adepo as well. The, the, the after, after the scene had ended on the page, they'd let the camera run yeah. sometimes just to see mm. what, what would happen and what we'd come out with. And the, and the scene where, where um, Jack and Saul go to see uh, Will in hospital, 
That was that was uh, su yeah. such a weird day, but but the scene ended slightly earlier than it ends on the screen. That's right. And, and those last few lines when when he says uh, you're wearing a funny hat, and I, I think I think Jack says I thought you'd never notice, and then you see yeah. where's your all of that stuff. That would that all came out of us feeling comfortable in our characters and comfortable with each other as actors and the trust that I think Minky Spiro directed that scene in the end that they had with us that, that, that they felt that we could they could let it run for a few minutes and just see what we came up with and and a lot of the stuff that we came up with will never be seen thank god thank god but but, but sometimes but sometimes nice little moments came out of that and that's a testament to how comfortable we were in that environment and how comfortable we all were with each other as performers and david mm. and alex and dan and minky you know letting us improv mm. the end of uh, the end okay. of that it was you know cre the creative okay. trust of that is is quite lovely as yeah. well Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, guys, for your time, and I hope it's successful for your series on 3D body problem. It, it was so lovely to talk with you guys. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers.